what is up queen mafia this sun is like making me look like i don't know <laughs> it just make my face my skin look different for some reason like my skin color i look orange hmm I don't know, maybe it's just me. So if y'all hear stuff in the background, we're in my beauty room and Paxson's playing with my stuff. This is his favorite room. Y'all really can't see it. I'm like, he loves my freaking beauty room for some reason. Like, it's, it's stuff in here. I understand that, but not yours. He don't play with his toys. He really don't. Okay, so make sure y'all subscribe to my other channel. I've been had this channel like for three to four years and only posted like two videos of it. But it's going to be me and my new boo. <laughs> and um, just like collabs with other people too. Because a lot of people who I live at want to collab. They want, you know, be on my channel. So I really don't want it on this channel. So I just made another channel like for me and people I collab with. Um, and my boyfriend. So y'all going to see a lot of us. Paxton, like I said, I don't really record Paxton, but um, yeah, he could be on some of them, I guess. But mostly, y'all just gonna see other people and me and my boyfriend and family and traveling, everyday life. Look, now he in a candy. Paxton. So these are pure lashes with some lip gloss on. I forgot who lip gloss this was. I, she keeps changing her name on Instagram, so I'm like, I don't know what to pick. I, I don't know what to say. But yeah, this is her lip gloss, and then these are my lashes. They $10 now. I told you to get the sale, but you don't want to listen to me, so now you got to pay for a price, see? And shipping. And shipping, so that's thirteen dollars. When you could have had three dollars off it. All right, so today I'm gonna be talking about um, relationship problems. If you don't know, I um, I used to help people with their relationships. You know, it's like the little coach or whatever. And I also went to therapy to learn about stuff like this. Um, if my lashes fly off, don't worry about it. Don't. Just don't. But make sure y'all go subscribe to that channel because we going to be making a video real, real soon. Well, I actually already got two videos of us. Um, two videos of us. Let me show you how that is now. Two videos of us already that we made. We're going to be doing challenges. Um, just different stuff you know because like I feel alone just doing it alone so we gonna do some challenges and some food challenges and stuff like um the name on it is my old name is um what is it Queen Mafia Vlogs, I think that's what it was. But I was like, okay, why? Well, if I'm doing vlogs, I could do vlogs over here. So I gotta change that name to like, I don't even know because it's not just gonna be me and him. It's gonna be me, him, and then like other people. So um, it's gonna be like a community thing. So hmm, I don't know. I don't know. But make sure y'all go subscribe. All right. So anyways, we got some like, you know, some people. Young relationships, old relationships, Jada Pickett, Will Smith. But that's another story for another, for another, for another YouTube video. He got all these lollipops on the floor. Okay, so when you're in a relationship, it can be really hard, okay? Relationships can look so beautiful online. But in person, they're like, y'all fighting, y'all arguing. My past relationship, it was like that. Always fighting. 
this lash is irritating but i wish i would cute so um, um my past relationship it was arguing all the time really and fighting and relationships supposed to be like that because y'all not always going to agree on things you know it's always going to be peaches and cream or whatever um but what I feel, I see like a lot of people getting married too. Y'all need to go watch my other video. You know, I go get into that. I'm sorry if I keep touching my eyes because these lashes are really irritating. And I know I keep getting off topic, but yeah. Um, so you know I got my little book right here. And I wrote some things down. What I wanna tell y'all. So, like I said, it's not gonna be perfect relationships. No relationship is perfect. No matter how good it look on Instagram or Snapchat, or Facebook, or whatever platform y'all use, okay? Even the YouTubes, you know, like Chris and Queen, you see they wasn't perfect. It all came out. But anyways, so this goes for men, men and ladies. It's never okay. For a man or a woman, because some women could be abusive. It's never okay for a man or a woman to hit you, okay? Abuse is really, really bad in a relationship. And I know a lot of people that get abused and stay in a relationship because they're stupid and they brainwash and they really think a man really loved them and they've been together for too long to know that come on he's gonna keep doing this sis he's gonna keep doing this okay so it's never okay for a man or a woman to hit you oh my god this little boy destroyed oh my god destroyed my whole beauty room like my rug is everywhere my candy is at my son is destroyed in my bathroom so, like I was saying, it's never okay for a man or a woman to hit you. No one my man hit you. If he hits you once, he's gonna hit you twice. He hit you twice, he's gonna keep he gonna he and you gonna think it's okay for you to get hit. And it's not. It's never okay for a woman to get beat on, to get hit, to have beauty bruises bruises on her even if he don't make a bruise on you it's not okay it's never okay and never was okay when he hit you you should have kicked him out you should have called the cops okay so don't think it's okay for a man to hit you even if he's playing do not don't don't no no it's not okay it's not, no, it's not okay because sorry tom so my mom's sister died from getting beat from a man and she thought it was okay and that's why she's going now I'm not trying to be mean but that's is why that's why she's going because she let a man hit on her because she thought it was okay this was years and years and years way before i was born but that's a good example but yeah um who else was um what is it um you know i'm talking about um I don't know, uh, what is it i can tina no this is not your relationship Okay, let me hear you because you're going to start crying. This one, this one again. Okay, so call you out of your name. When he call you out your name, that's definitely not okay, okay? If he could disrespect you, he could disrespect your mom, he could disrespect your family. That's not okay. It's just not okay. Like a man call you the word, the B word, because we got kids on here. The H word, the T word, thought, and the hub and the bitch. No! You are not those names. Don't let no man disrespect you. Because I knew when one disrespected me. <laughs> I am very dangerous. Like, I sent my sister this quote, and it was like um, about stabbing somebody. No, mom, let me not even tell that story for y'all really do think I'm crazy. Um, tell you what to do. Controlling relationships. Tell me what to do. What makeup to wear. What clothes to wear. Now, if your man is that secure to tell you what to wear, then that means he can't fight. That means he can't fight. If I can't wear a tube top outside with some booty shirts and my booty hanging out, that means you cannot fight. 
like controlling relationships, telling you what to do, tell you what to cook, tell you to clean up and, and wash the baby. Okay. Don't be in no controller issue. You tell him what to do, sis. I'll be back. So, the biggest topic is cheating. If a man cheat on you, he's fine. I promise you, he's fine. He just not, I'm not letting him out the room because he want to come in here and touch that you don't supposed to touch. So, I'll be back. Okay. Well, he's going to be quiet. Cheating is not okay because if you cheat once, he's going to cheat again and he's going to think it's okay and you're going to think it's okay for another for a man to have sex with another woman and you know about it and you over here let him in your house and land up with him. Really, sis? Really? You are better than that. You should know your worth. And if you don't, you need to read about it. You need to talk to God. Because I'm not going to let no man cheat on me. And then she, I hate this lightning. Like, it makes me look stupid. Maybe I should use my camera. And then he's going to cheat on you again. And then she going to know that you know. And she going to think it's okay. So, don't let no man cheat on you. Because if he cheat on you once, and you say, oh... Well, baby, I'm not going to cheat on you again. I promise you I love you. No, no. Because if he loved you, it's so like I was saying, if he's cheating on you, don't let him cheat on you because it's not okay. It never was okay in the first place. So if he cheat on you, leave him the first time. Don't give him no second chances. I know God said, you know, what he said. But you can, you can forgive him. That's, that's Forgiveness is better than anything, okay? Forgiveness. I forgive you, but I'm not taking you back. Go be with her. You wait for her. You want her more than me? Be with her. She's better, remember? So, and then men tend to cheat on people with like me. Come on now, like. Or let me say, people that look worse than me. <laughs> I mean, I'm not, I know I'm not the best looking, but. You can't even trust your friends. Let's get serious. Like, you can't even. When I'm touching my hair and stuff, I'm touching my hair and stuff, I'm not trying to be cute, but it'd be irritating to me. Um, I'm not used to having short hair, so I was like. But yeah, um, men cheat with whoever your grandma feed, you know, like that. But men cheat, could even cheat with your friends and that's the sad thing like friends that you knew for years and years and years they cheat with they don't care sex is a big part of man life for some reason sex and games like so like i said if a man cheat on you leave him and he can be with whoever he want to be with because he didn't keep his loyalty he didn't keep that word he didn't keep i love you like he said he was gonna love you no you don't love me i when i see um tv shows you like after children when i'm like i love you no you don't love me because if you love me then you want to cheat on me so I, hey so your mind your mind gonna tell you it's okay it's okay for him to cheat on you it's okay for him to lie to you it's okay for him to yell at you and tell you what to do and all the bad stuff in relationships. That's what your mom gonna tell you. But I'm telling you, it's not okay. It's never going to be okay. And you're probably, oh well, shut up and you don't know this and you don't know that. I do. I watch a lot of videos and a lot of people go down in their relationship because of the simplest things that happens in every day, everyday life, like cheating, lying. Cheating is the 2020. It's a goal of 2020. Cheating and babies. Yep. Mm -hmm. Cheating and babies. Like, oh well, he cheated on me. Look at Jada Pickett. But that's for another video because I don't want to tell too much of that in this video. But look at them. Look, read them. Oh, 
Read about her. What happened to their relationship? What she was doing? And they've been. You can't be that in love to get married with anybody. Like, don't rush to get married. Don't rush to have kids. I mean, my decision was my decision. Cause I didn't want to be lonely. Like, I didn't want. Well, I like that. I don't have any family. I don't have no one to talk to. So I'm really. I'm glad I had a baby. Now I have somebody to talk to and go out with. And we get older. We can do YouTube together. And his birthday coming up. Now I can have like him a birthday party. Like that's exciting to me. So having a baby wasn't a mistake in my life. Because now I got something to do. Something to wake up for. You know. Something to live for. Because Christmas I cannot wait to make him like can't. Sorry, I cannot wait to see his Christmas list and all the stuff he want. I know I'm be broke, but I just can't wait for that stuff. That stuff right there excites me. Like, oh my God, I was a kid and I wanted all this stuff. Now my son gonna want all this stuff and I'm gonna be broke, but he gonna be happy at the end of the day. That's what I'm trying to say. So make sure you're ready to spend some money when you have a kid. Um... Yeah, relationships are hard. They really are hard. Because, I mean, you and your partner not going to agree on a lot of things. Not agree on everything, okay? Um, if I ever get married, I'm going to get married when I'm like six years old. Because, I mean, like, come on now. Your, your play game should be over with. Don't be no pimp. I mean, like... When I'm 60 years old and he's 60 or 70, 60 or 70, right? We about to die, honey. We about to die. We are about to die. You can marry me now, honey. Because, I mean, who gonna, what, you going to cheat on me with an old woman that's about to die, too? Come on. <laughs> this is what I'm saying. Like, So, y'all will be at my wedding when I'm about 7 years old. Um, sadly, my mom probably won't be living because if I'm 70, she'd probably be like, Probably a hundred right now. A lot of people don't live over a hundred. So, I mean, we might get engaged. We might, but that's all y'all gonna see as a ceremony because Shantae is not getting married. No, I am not. No, uh uh. A relationship is a relationship, but marriage. Your last name. Your last name. You don't have to switch your last name, but Mrs. What? And I, what if I see, let me not get into it because y'all gonna think I'm up. Okay, but yeah, um, I say you will soon let it keep happening. Feel and feel the, and, and feel you're the reason why. Okay, so. Um, I knew, I know, I've seen a lot of men that was telling their girlfriend, oh, well, if it wasn't for this, then we wouldn't be here. If it wasn't for you, then we wouldn't do this. All he, he, Mr. He, always going to blame him because he don't want to feel that in his heart. He don't want to take that man responsible, oh, responsible, responsibility to say that he was the one that did it like when if a man said oh well you got pregnant my eggs ain't chase you my eggs did not chase you my eggs did not chase you but anyways this is everywhere but it's it's going i think it's doing the same category with the uh relationship babies and yeah it's like i said in my other video don't get no lease with nobody make sure that you're the head of the household if you're in a relationship make sure you're the one you know it's your house like me my house ain't no lease here ain't no lease here it's me. This is mine. This is me and my sons. No man on my stuff. Not one paper. You know why? He can die. He can. He can find another girlfriend. He can cheat. He can do anything and mess me up. That's why you don't sign no lease with no one. 
Don't put your consent down to nothing. No marriage, house, baby. Because you're going to mess yourself up. Especially, that's what, okay, this is totally different. But, like I said in my other video, men really show their true colors when, when it's something serious. Like a house, paying bills, a baby. Because then they got to, they got to do something. They don't. They don't have to do it, but they gotta do it because that's their child. I'm. Uh, I don't explain this, but it's like you know, like child support and houses. Like, okay, well, I got her pregnant, so I mean, it's either child support or standing up for that child. So, or signing a lease or the house, you know, the yearly form or um, giving her money for the rent or you know the yearly so i mean you, you got to figure that out when you're in a relationship how the person really is and when they show you finally show you those true colors you should leave them alone you should leave them alone if a man's showing you red flags that you know ain't right then don't be with him don't Cause you are better than that. I feel every female is a good person until they find the wrong man that mess their head up, and then they find another man that does the same thing and keep repeating and keep repeating. Then she think that's okay, and she keep tolerating it, and then look at her a dummy. I said what I said, sis. Okay, so I don't got no more on paper but I'm just you know talking cuz ain't nothing else to do this Friday I'm bored ain't nowhere to go I did my makeup for nothing like it's too early to leave out I always leave out at 8 at night you know party let me stop lying but I do be leaving out I feel um got with apps and times time to time to time I don't leave my son in the house now let me make sure that's clear, because y'all be always trying to come for me, find something to come for me, but I always got something to back it up. Look at you. Thought you had something on. My personality is different. That's what I like about me. I don't want to be like all the other YouTubers. I feel like I want to be me. If you don't like watching me, then unsubscribe. Just like I had people, like three people unsubscribe to me in one day, and then you know the next day what happened? More people subscribe to me. I got more views. Like, it's like when the devils leave, more people angels come in. So, hey. But anyways, yeah. Don't tolerate the cheating and the hurting your feelings. Mean stuff can hurt, too. I mean, like, y'all probably don't understand me where I'm coming from. But I understand me, like... Simple things. If he over here want to break up with you for simple things, then y'all definitely shouldn't be together. Definitely, definitely shouldn't be together. Because if you want to break up with you because you ate the last french fry, then... Mm-mm. Mm-mm. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Yeah, it's it's some good men out here. It's some, 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 but some men are sneaky. This is 2020, and you gotta be sure who you land down with, and who you being with, and who you trust in, and giving information to. So I don't have a lot to say in this video. I'll probably make a part two because I feel like I ain't get to the to the deep parts like about a lot of things. So um, yeah. Like, comment, subscribe. Make sure y'all click the link in the description down below. It's going to be me, my boo, and people I'm going to be collaborating, collaborating, collab with. So, make sure y'all do that for me. Bye.